Brian here with another Vainglory video and today I wanted to give you a basic hero rundown of Petal and look at some tips and tricks to help you win with her. Um, so let's look at her abilities first. First we're going to be looking at the Bramble Thorn Seed and this one is a very utility like skill and it's going to help you to spawn your Munions which is your B ability. Um, this skill can be used as a healing station for you and your teammates. It's really, really good, especially if you put them in safe spots. You got to be careful though because enemy mobs or the minions can actually kill these. So you want to make sure you plant them somewhere safe. Um, you can stack them up to five times. So it's going to give you huge ore. And if you can get in them in a favorable spot, it's going to help you definitely win fights. Um, looking at her B ability, guys, it's called Yay Pets. And these are going to spawn little munions, they're called. And these munions are going to be able to latch onto your enemies and attack them um, for whoever you are throwing auto attacks at. And basically, just do tons of damage. Those munions are also going to be able to trigger her ultimate, Spontaneous Combustion. And if you guys want to build Crystal Petal, this is going to do massive damage. I'm talking late game, probably around 1400 total. Um, it's crazy scaling on those but you are going to be super, super, duper squishy. So I recommend going the safer build of a mix between weapon and tank pedal. So let's go ahead and look at some clips with her today, and we will get started. All right, guys, so here in this clip, you guys can see I decided to go lane pedal. And when you go lane pedal, you're going to want to probably bring boots because she is pretty immobile. Um, as you can see, I positioned my thorns to where they are pretty much inside the bush. So the enemy creeps cannot kill them and me and my teammate can use them kind of as a healing station. So she offers really good sustain in lane. If you guys are going in the jungle, I definitely recommend starting Iron Garden Contract and then working your way up towards the Storm Guard banner. So at four minutes, you can get those minion mines a lot quicker. All right, guys, so in this next clip, I'm going to get way too close to Saw and it's not going to be good. I'm going to activate my B ability to get my minions out, and then I'm going to go ahead and activate Spontaneous Combustion to blow him up as well. But as you can see, getting too close with Petal can be really, really costly. All right, guys, for this next one, you always want to make sure your minions are chewing on your opponent before you activate your Spontaneous Combustion to make sure you can pick up that kill and maximize the damage. And it's really, it's really, really good to make sure you do it in clusters, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this video with a quick rundown of all these tips put together. As before we go over these final tips and tricks with Petal, some things I wanted to talk about um, is you really want to be careful when you're in a bush with Petal because her, sometimes her munions will stick out and it will give away your position. I realized this after a couple times, a couple matches with her. Um, I was sitting in bushes waiting for people to come in with my seeds planted and I was like, yes, they're going to come in. I'm going to surprise them. I had scout traps ready to go. Um, but then they notice the munions and then they just either go away or they just bring the whole team to um, go ahead and mob me and kill me. Um, so yeah, but looking at these final tips, guys, you want to abuse her range as much as you can, guys. Her auto attack range is just absolutely ridiculous, so make sure you're doing those auto attacks from really far away. Um, tip number two, guys, is you want to kite. Always be auto attacking and moving and getting in as much damage. Even if you're losing the trade, you want to get that damage in so your teammates can go ahead and either finish her up or you can uh, put pressure on them by having them have damage as well and forcing them to either go back or stay in lane really, really low for your teammates to come. Number three, guys, this one I ran into so many times. It was a big, big problem. Use your seeds carefully early, guys. You want to make sure you either put them in a bush um, or behind your turret because the enemy minions will eat them up or the enemy champions will kill them pretty quickly if you do not protect those. Um, they are a healing station for you and your teammates, so place them in spots where you think that your teammates are going to head as well. Um, number four, guys, is make sure you maximize your ult damage by having the most minions chewing on your um, enemies before using your ult. So um, your ult is really, really good in clusters too. And what I mean by that is if there's more champions together, um, it's going to do a lot more damage as it does splash damage, and it's going to be awesome. So, guys, make sure you do all these things if you want to have a successful time with Petal. Hey, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today of our Vainglory Petal tips and tricks. Um, if you guys are looking for some more resources or want to check out the site to get some more lore or some more advice, I'm going to put in some links here. You guys should check out these links. I'll put them down in the description. Um, and if you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to me. I'm going to be doing weekly Vainglory videos. And uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and take it easy.